The black body radiation curve of the object at 600 kelvins is shown by dashed line. What is the radiation curve of the same object at 450 kelvin solid line? So let's review key formulas. Luminosity is what its uh, power, its energy per second is equal to some constant and surface area over the black body. And if it's a sphere, it is equal to 4 pi radius squared and temperature to the power of 4. Intensity. Intensity is luminosity per meter squared per unit area or energy per second per unit area. And it's just some constant and temperature to the power of 4. And peak wavelengths or lambda of uh, maximum intensity uh, multiplied by uh, temperature is constant so it's inversely proportional to uh, the temperature and and if dashed is at 600 and solid is at 450 according to this formula intensity for 450 must be what smaller so A correct, B is not correct, and D is correct. And according to this formula, since temperature becomes smaller if we consider uh, 450, so if temperature decreases, lambda increases, so peak for 450 must be to the right, must be greater, so A is correct. D is not correct. The next. Star X has a luminosity L and an apparent brightness B. Star X is at distance D from Earth. Star Y has the same apparent brightness but is four times luminous. What is the distance of star Y from Earth? And one additional formula is brightness. It's actually intensity at distance d from the black body which radiates with luminosity l and is equal to 4 pi d squared it's quite easy to understand it arises from that uh, 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 this energy which is radiated by the black body is spread out a sphere and surface area of a sphere is uh, uh, 4 pi radius squared and if we consider distance uh, to be d it's actually the same as radius so surface area is 4 pi d squared and per 1 meter squ uh, squared at distance d from the star intensity is equal to l over 4 pi d squared and it is equal to that for x brightness is b luminosity is l and uh, distance is this, so this formula becomes directly like this for, for x. And for y, it is given that brightness is the same, but it's four times luminous. What does it mean? It means just that luminosity is four times larger, and uh, distance is required. So let's denote it x, and since b is equal to b, you may just what equate these two formulas or so consider them as uh, simultaneous equations and uh, solve for rex and it becomes l over 4 pi d squared is uh, 4l over 4 pi x squared and 4 pi cancels l cancels and you can see that x squared is 4 d squared and then x just what 2d just uh, taking squ uh, square root on both Size. Or you may uh, see that if x is 2d, y 2d, because squared, squared it becomes 4d squared, 4 cancels and you get absolutely the same. So you may answer uh, directly. So b is correct. x is equal to 2d. The next. The, the HR diagram shows two stars, X and Y. What is the ratio? A radius of X to ra uh, radius of Y. So we can see that the luminosity of X is equal to luminosity of Y and temperature of X is for uh, 40,000 and temperature of Y is 10,000. And since it's about luminosity, we can consider what formula is luminosity is some constant surface area and it's what 4 pi radius squared 
and times temperature to the power of 4. And since Lx is equal to Ly, it becomes Rx squared Tx to the power of 4 is equal to Ry squared Ty to the power of 4. And just substituting Tx Ty, or actually let's do ratio firstly, radius of x over radius of 1. So and actually we can take uh, uh, square root on both sides to get just rx tx squared is equal to ry ty squared and then rx over ry is ty over tx squared and ty over tx it's what 1 over 4 and squared so 1 over 16 it's a and that's all for this question.